Hello viewers, today I am going to demonstrate to you a simple technique of how to reduce a dislocated interphalangeal joint of a hand. Now we have got a young lady who unfortunately fell and sustained injury to her uh, right little finger and she has presented to us with pain and deformity. So first I am going to show you her x-ray and then I will show you the reduction technique. If you look at the AP of this uh, lady, you can see there is an obvious loss of uh, joint space here. Uh, it looks abnormal, so this is translated laterally. And if I show you uh, the lateral, uh, it shows a clear dorsal uh, dislocation of proximal interphalangeal joint. Now, how to reduce it? Now, there are two ways uh, that most people will uh, do is one will be to apply a longitudinal traction here. Uh, but I try to refrain from applying longitudinal traction because sometimes it can convert a simple dislocation into a complex dislocation. That means um, soft tissue interposition in form of volar plate, which is not there. If you just give a longitudinal traction across this line, it can convert um, them into a complex uh, dislocation. So what I do is if I draw an arrow here, I would push this back with my hand and then with other hand, I will try to reduce it and I will explain it again when I am doing the reduction maneuver. So I have just drawn this for you. This is our P1, this is P2, this is P3, this is dorsal, this is volar and this is how the dislocation is. So what I am going to do is I am going to use my thumb here to push this back and with the other hand I am trying to, I will reduce it rather than just pulling it. So I will demonstrate it again when I am reducing it. So my thumb will apply this force and with the other hand I am just going to pull it and reduce it back to its original position. So what I am going to do is I am not going to pull like this uh, because if you are lucky you may reduce it. If not then you can make it a simple dislocation into a complex one. So that is what I am saying don't just longitudinally pull it. So what I am going to do is we have already given some ring block so that uh, she doesn't experience a lot of pain. Uh, with my thumb, I am pushing the head of the proximal phalanx back. So I am just pushing the head back and with other hand, I am just going to apply longitudinal traction and then reduce it. And this is all done. So you can see, she can start moving this normally. So. You can see now this is bending completely. She is moving the hand quite normally and the pain is much better. So my message is that don't give longitudinal traction. So push this, push the head back and the other hand reduce it. You will hear a click and then your reduction will be much much easier. So she can make, make a fist. So this is how you reduce a dislocated uh, proximal interphalangeal joint of a finger. So once you have uh, reduced the fracture, uh, dislocation, sorry, uh, it's mandatory that you take a check x-ray to make sure that you have uh, managed to reduce it and your reduction is congruent both in AP and lateral plane. So if you see here, it looks pretty good and here it looks pretty good. So after you are happy, then you need to apply body strapping for around three weeks, but you can get the patient moving her hand pretty much straight away. Um, after the reduction. So this is the same lady, we have applied a body strapping but she can start moving the hand pretty much straight away and a pain or symptoms are almost completely gone. So viewers, this was a demonstration on how to reduce a dislocated finger and you can apply the same principle to other fingers as well and if you use this technique you should be able to reduce it uh, with uh, ease. I hope you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and do share our channel. Thank you.